Hello friends, welcome to my channel learning web method. Today we are going to see adapter services in web method. So first we'll understand what are adapter services. So adapter services are nothing but a service which allows you to connect to adapters resource and initiate an operation on the resource from integration server. An integration server uses adapter connection that we have defined to execute the adapter services. So adapter services are like select, insert, update and many more. So here we will be seeing select, insert and update services. So let's begin. First we'll be seeing insert adapter service. So go to your designer. I have created a folder called in adapter services for adapter related services. So right click on this folder, go to adapter services, give name as insert employee. Click next, select web method adapter for JDBC. Click next, select adapter connection. So we have created this adapter connection in our previous videos. Those who are new to this channel, please refer my previous video for creating a adapters. Now click next, select insert SQL and finish. Here we have to select in which table we will insert records. So select database name and then table. So our table is employee. Now go to insert, click on insert row and here we can see employee ID. So whatever field we have to insert in particular table that we have to choose here. First name, last name, email. Okay, so this is repeated, we'll delete this. Okay, so we will be inserting employee ID, first name, last name and email. Now go to result, this is also same. Adapter settings here you can see your adapter connection and adapter service template. If you see the in input and output, then adapter service has automatically created input and output. And here you can see the log fields and here is command. So now let's save this. Now how do we test it whether this is working fine or not? Click on adapter service, run as run service. Here you have to give employee ID. Let's say one first name is John Smith, email is John click OK. So here we can see input is this but it has no output. So we have to verify from the database table. We'll go to SQL Management Studio, select our table and select top thousand rows and here we can see our record is properly inserted in our table. So this way we can create insert adapter service. Now we'll see how select insert service can be implemented. Go to your designer, right click on the same folder go to adapter service and we'll create a service called get employee select adapter connection name select SQL and finish now here again we have to select the table go to join but right now here we are using only single table we will not use joins so joins we'll see in another separate video go to select now here again so whatever fields we want in our get statement or select statement we have to select from here so let's say we want all fields and here you can sort order as well ascending and descending you can choose but right now we have only one record so i'll keep it simple and here we can do where statement as well let's say employee id so here automatically parameter is added let's say you select two parameters employee id employee first name so here automatically it will create a parameter for input parameter for you so we'll remove this we will be using only one parameter and here you can see the same adapter service input and it automatically creates the input employee employee id underscore one here you can also you can also change this input field as employee id we'll keep it as employee id here you can see and here you can see the output as well output would be document list and with employee id and first name last name and email now save this service now let's check this service here employee id let's say one and we'll click ok and here you can see the result john smith John Smith Gmail. So I hope you got the point. This way we can implement select adapter service. Now we'll see update adapter service. How we'll update the record. Go to the adapter service folder. Right click. Give name as update employee. Select adapter type. Select adapter 
connection name and here update and finish here again we have to select the table go to update section so what we have to update here let's say we want to update the email address only rest will remove it from here now here it automatically gives the email address and where condition so on the basis of primary key so let's say what is our primary key primary key is a employee id so we'll select employee id here give input name as employee id and then result would will keep it result input and output will see result now save the service now how do we test it same way run as run service let's say and employee id is one we'll see here you can see result is one so that means it is successfully updated if it is zero then it means there is some issue or failure now let's check in our table we'll refresh and here we can see john123 at gmail.com means this table this row is updated this way we can use update services so i hope you got the point this is pretty simple and straight if you have any doubt or query so please do let me know in a comment section and in and if you like the video then please do like share and subscribe thank you for now